Hi YouTube, I am back with another video. Uh, excuse my appearance, I am packing for my flight. I'm really excited about it because I am going overseas for a much needed break uh, for a good bit. So I won't be making videos for a while, but I thought I would come on here really quickly and tell you about my endometrial scratch or endometrial biopsy as some people call it. Um, basically what it's supposed to do is after you have a few failed IVF um, attempts, whether that be frozen embryo transfer, fresh embryo transfers, um, for unexplained reasons why it doesn't work, they recommend that you scratch your endometrial lining by basically taking some kind of a tool and going into um, the office. It's kind of like a pap smear, but um, they insert something and take out or remove or scratch the lining um, of your endometrium. Um, so they recommended that I have that done. It sounded really harmless, so I just wanted to come on here and tell you really quickly what my experience was like. It was awful. It wasn't harmless at all. Um, bad news is that it felt like a piece of my body was being ripped out. Um, a piece of my vagina specifically was being ripped out of my body and it hurt like heck. Um, good news is that before I could even get my scream all the way out, it was over. So it lasted, my nurse was really good and really skilled. She made sure that it lasted no more than maybe five seconds. <laughs> so it was five seconds of intense pain. Um, but I just wanted to let you know, in case you haven't heard of this procedure um, and you had a few failed attempts, that it is more than just a slight discomfort. It, it's incredibly um, uncomfortable. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions about it. They say it's supposed to increase your chance of being able to conceive. Um, I'll let you know if that actually happens to be the case with me. All right, so I guess I'll talk to you guys later and I'll see you after my vacay. Bye.